Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Today I have another episode of Try It, Don't Buy It for you. But this one is special because it's Try It, Don't Buy It Science Edition. Now this is not just a little roll of tin foil. No, no, my friends, this is a Try It, Don't Buy It owl pellet. I'm going to show you what's inside right now. So this is what you'll find in your kit. I got this from kidwings.com. It comes with this great book and it's amazing the facts that you find in this book. And what's really, really great is it gives you a place for notes and stuff. But what's really, really great is it shows you all the different kinds of things that these owls will eat and the kinds of owls. And then it also, what I love here, is it shows you the whole the whole transition from food to pellet. And as you can see, the pellet comes out through the mouth. And also, just so you don't get squeamish about these, these are cleaned and um, what they do is they put them through a process so it's completely safe for you to touch them. And then they show you all the different bird parts, the different mole parts, all the different um, lunches <laughs> and all of the little bones that you may find inside your owl pellet. So let me show you what, what happens here. You just open one of these guys up and you also get a pair of tweezers. You get a um, magnifying glass, which I have to say is not the best magnifying glass, but it's okay. And you also get one of these little sticks that's really great. And then you get these owl pellets that are in this um, tin foil. And like I said, these have been cleaned all of these owl pellets so they are safe to touch. So you open this up like this and here you can see it's kind of hard, right? But what's amazing is as you start to pick it apart, you realize this is fur. Oh look, and we've we just we're getting already starting with bones in here. But what's crazy about this is this is all fur. And so as you start to get in here, it's it's soft. You can start to see see that softness there. And as you start to pull these apart, you start to find all these different little bones in here. Let's see what this is. And each one is, oh, this is a little skull. This is a tiny little bird skull. Look at that. Oh my gosh, can you see that? See the little skull? Oh wait, no, it's not a bird. Oh no, no, it's a little, it's, oh, this must be a mouse. Because there's its teeth. This is where the book comes in really handy because the book tells you what all the, ooh, you gotta be really careful because they break really easily. But the um, book will tell you what all the different pieces are. So look at that, you can see there's a the little skull. Here's the bottom, here's the jaw. Oh, these are little teeny tiny bones. So as you can see, you can really carefully start picking this apart. Look at that skull. And it's really fun, I mean, it's really, really, it's really interesting to see what's inside here. I mean, you have to be gentle and, oh, look, oh my gosh, there's another skull. Oh my gosh, this is a, this was a feast. Look, oh my gosh, look at that. There's another little skull, can you see that? There's his little teeth, and these are like the eye sockets right here. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna have to spend some time going through this one. I do want to show you one that I did earlier, um, just because I, I was able to clean all the parts out. But here, you can see there's an entire skeleton here. Look how big this one was. And it's funny because the owl pellet itself was not any bigger, but it's just this like, big head in there. Look at these little teeny bones. Aren't these amazing? This is really cool, look at these. These are the little tiny spinal column. That's a piece of the spinal column. And you can actually like put this back together if you were really, really patient. But there they are, there's the little sp spinal columns. Here's a jaw, here's the mandible. Here's the little bones, probably little femurs, and that's probably a little hip bone. I of course would have to look in my book to find out. But isn't this amazing? I mean, this is really cool because you think about this, this is real life. This comes from real life, which is pretty darn exciting. The other thing is if you're squeamish about touching this kind of stuff or you, if you, you know, don't want to have this kind of thing in your house, you can go on to kidwings.com and they have a virtual owl pellet that you can dissect. 
but I'm going to keep working on this one. But I got to tell you, I think this is pretty darn cool. So that is what you find in a kid wing owl pellet. I have to tell you personally, for myself, I think that owl pellets are the coolest thing I have ever seen. And kidwings.com has some of the most extensive research and best website that you can find. They've got a virtual owl pellet research that you can do if you're a little squeamish about having your own owl pellet. And they've got lots and lots and lots of other information about raptors, about bears, about coyotes, wolverines, all different kinds of stuff. So you definitely want to check out kidwings.com even if you don't get one of their owl pellets. For me, try it, don't buy it. I think you can say what I'm going to say. Try it! For more great ideas, check us out, sofa-world.com.